How to develop a powerful PowerPoint presentation for your online assignment. The ability to deliver a presentation is a soft skill that most employers value. Whether the presentation is delivered to your peers, the entire office, or to clients outside the office, the quality of your presentation can be the difference between holding your audience's attention or putting them to sleep. The first thing you need to do before you even open PowerPoint is to decide the goal of the presentation. What is the message you want your audience to hear? Think of the message as your thesis statement. PowerPoint is not the message. The information you are presenting is the message. So it is important that what you have to say is engaging, flows well, and keeps your audience interested. After you have developed your message or main idea, create an outline. The outline will be used to organize your thoughts, just like an outline is used to structure an essay or research project. Use your outline to develop your message, research, or argument. Refine your message. Proofread, edit, and refine again. The completed message is your script. Decide how you would like to divide your script into separate slides. Your slides should follow your outline, a slide for each main thought or idea. Preparation is key. Before you even open PowerPoint, create a storyboard. The text you'll be reading is in the left-hand column and the visual information for PowerPoint goes in the right-hand column. Once you're satisfied with your script, you should time yourself as you read it. This will give you a good indication of how long your presentation will last. You will also detect flaws in the flow of the text. Now you are ready for PowerPoint. Create a slide for each row in your storyboard. Copy the script for each slide into the notes section. As you create your slides, remember that the text and imagery need to work together. The imagery needs to add meaning to the text. Try to avoid overly bright or detailed artwork that could distract the viewer's attention. Use art to enhance, not distract from understanding. Use art that fits the style of your presentation. Audiences are bored of seeing common clip art. Any cartoons or illustrations should fit the style of the presentation. Most designers recommend photographs and high quality graphics. However, there are no hard and fast rules. The text for the slide needs to capture key concepts. The text is not meant to be read word for word by the presenter. Limit your text to a few words. Remember, you are the star. Your audience can't read and listen at the same time. So if your audience is reading your slides, they aren't listening to you. Your slides should have plenty of white space. Don't feel you need to fill the entire space. Less is more. Choose your background or theme carefully. PowerPoint comes with packaged themes, but these themes often look outdated. Use backgrounds that do not overwhelm your information. Colors are a great tool to attract the eye. Think of color as salt and pepper being added to soup. Used well, they add flavor, but if overused, they ruin the taste. Using a color wheel, use colors that neighbor each other. Use colors opposite for contrast, but don't overdo it. Avoid bright colors that hurt your eye, and too much red, yellow, and orange can overpower your message. Some tips for your text are, one, Limit yourself to using no more than three fonts. Two, many designers suggest using 30-point type for PowerPoint presentations. Three, PowerPoint is meant to be displayed very large and on screen. Sans serif fonts work best. Sans serif are fonts without the edges, Arial and Helvetica, etc. Four, use uppercase sparingly. Instead, use uppercase and lowercase letters. Use motion when it enhances the viewer's understanding. 
If overdone, animation and transitions become a distraction when someone is concentrating on your speech. Use infographs to visually display quantitative figures. Keep your charts and graphs simple, easy to comprehend at a glance. If a graphic doesn't advance your argument, don't use it. A well-made PowerPoint presentation can make you look very good. Your audience will stay engaged, their comprehension will be faster and more likely to retain the information longer. Not to mention, a well-made presentation is likely to help you get a better grade and a valuable skill to master. Most of the information here is also applicable for presentations using other tools such as Prezi.